Hi, I'm Bob Striegel, author of the book, How to Get a Job While in High School and Beyond. I'm personally responsible for finding employment for hundreds of young people. I know what it takes, and I have made it my mission to travel this great nation, helping teens get a job. Okay, let me shoot straight with you. I can help you, but you're gonna need to help yourself, okay? Work with me, and I can get you a job. I'm not, I don't mean to be hard on you, but you'll never get a job. Do you have any entry-level job positions for any high school kids by chance? No, we don't. Man, I'm trying to get out the streets for somebody getting me, you feel me? You can tell your mom that you need to be a little more enthusiastic about wanting to get a job. Are you sure you really want to get a job? I mean, I don't see why we got to go through all this. I'm here. Do you want to really work part-time? Well, that's the first. No one's ever come in eating a donut to an interview. I'm looking to, to actually place a high school student in an entry-level position. Need an application? Uh, no, 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 I don't need an application. That first impression is made in less than two seconds. That's why it's so important, and we want to give them the best chance at getting that job, right? Hey, what's up, Brad? No, 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 no. Put it I down. have some students who you are looking for a job. Some of these students, and their families really need the extra income. These days, searching for a job is a daunting task. The Mississippi Gulf Coast has really been through some tough times recently. I mean, Hurricane Katrina, the BP oil spill, I mean, those two events alone I mean, just devastated this community down here. But they're slowly building back, and there are jobs out there. I'm on my way now to meet some teenagers who are looking for work. Hi, I'm Bob Striegel. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, what's your last name, Jennifer? McCormick. McCormick? Oh, yeah. very nice. You really don't want a job, you're just doing this to appease your mom, correct? No. You can tell your mom that you need to be a little more enthusiastic about wanting to get a job. You getting a job it has to come from you, not your mom, okay? If you ever decide not to sleep, not to always be late, come back. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. Uh -huh. Okay, one of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing is because young teens are not being taught the proper way to interview for a job. Hey, what's up, bro? No, 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 no. Right. Put it right. down. You need to put it down, okay? <laughs> right, bro. I'm, put I'm it in, down. I'm at the job interview trying to make this money, bro. Hold up. You don't come into an interview and get phone calls. If it's a problem, you can leave. If it's not, we can continue. Yes, I'll leave then. Okay, good luck. But that was a waste of my time, bro. He's tripping. Uh, Mr. Striegel. Um, hey, Joe. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the bad interview. I kind of... I didn't want to do this interview because my grandfather kind of pushed me into doing it. You're sure you want a job? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm just... Well, like... I'll tell you what, I believe in second chances. Okay. Matter of fact, I gotta go find a bunch of you guys' jobs, okay? okay. All right, thank you. Now, you don't have any experience yet. Uh, this is your... I hate to interrupt, we got a little problem. You might want to come look at your car. <laughs> Did it get towed? Someone hit it? What the is going on here? Christ. Son of a What do you think is one of those kids I was interviewing? Someone has to know something. Well, I've obviously pissed someone off today during the interviewing process. Uh, I was on my way to actually go find some jobs. Well, this puts us a day or two behind. Thomas Sombrero is not the only place that's going to be embracing the job opportunity for young people. We might not even do, we might do Holiday Inn. Right. There's, a, there's an auto garage place over in Ocean Springs, Bobby Tyson's. And also, doing an interview. Yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Jennifer's finding out that a job interview takes practice, practice, practice. Have you ever tried to tell a teenager what to wear or what makeup to put on?
Many of these students are applying for jobs at entry level positions and they're met with obstacles because adults are applying for the same entry level jobs. So Mario, as you know, we have a position open at uh, Taco Sombrero. What we're here to do is for me to train you from A to Z. I want you to be prepared and to get this job. Do you understand? It sounds like a lot of work. It is. It is. Okay? But tell me, no, no, no. Tell me right now if you don't want this. Tell me right now if you don't I'm want it. But this sounds like a lot of stuff. It's going to be a lot of work. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Who are you? Are we, well, why? I'm his mama. What? I'm his mother. Well, I'm Bob Striegel. I'm uh, coaching him right now. But part of the coaching, ma'am, in all due respect, is no, you don't need to sit down. This won't take long. Um, is not eating donuts. We've got Jennifer looking really professional. Hey, Jennifer. Get out of here. You got it? Hey, congratulations. When do you start? She got the job. Oh, congratulations. Wow, well, you did it. Yeah. No, you guys did it. Well, we all did it. It's better than a guitar lesson from Elvis. <laughs> <laughs>